हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू दैट टॉपिक एलवी बाय सीएल अंडरस्कोर एस एलवी अंडरस्कोर टेबल क्लास एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर द सॉर्टिंग फंक्शनैलिटी नाउ वी विल गो फॉर फिल्टरिंग फंक्शनैलिटी सपोज आई एम रनिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम आई विल गो फॉर इनपुट now what customer is saying as of now whatever the sales document number are there we have the line item 10 is there we have the line item 20 is also there because if the sales order has multiple line items 10 20 30 will be there but what customer is saying whenever i will get the report or output for the first time i only want the line item number 20 i do not want line item number 10 further i can remove the filtering yes but whenever the report is coming or whenever the output is coming for the first time i want only those line item number i only want the 20 line item number i do not want 10 line item number see if customer want this functionality by clicking on to the button that customer can do suppose if i will go for set filter customer only want the line item numbers 20 so customer can filter but what customer is saying no i will not click on to filter button that is a further step if i want to do i can do it later but for the first time i want only only 20 line item number whatever the 20 line items are there so in that case you need to write a logic to achieve the filtering functionality because customer strictly told no i will not click on to filter button if i want to click that is a separate thing but please whenever i am getting a output i want a filtering based upon the line item number 20 so in that case we will achieve this particular thing through the coding and same to same approach we will check in that particular class cl sclv table we will get a method that will return us the object of a different class in that class we will get a method and we will simply apply that method so what we will do i will achieve the filtering functionality now suppose as of now i will comment the sorting part now we will go for filtering part so that the clarity will be more so that i commented you can make it and comment also no problem now we will check into the class cl underscore salv underscore table which method we need to use and it's a common approach which sap followed so that our task will be easy i will go for filter and you can see we have a method get underscore filter and it is clearly saying you will get the object and common practice when we went for function setting the method is get underscore function when we covered column setting the method name is get underscore columns when we cover sort then method name is get underscore sorts now we have the method name get underscore filters so we will call this method i will simply go down and we will write the logic i will go to pattern button a map object patterns now i will write hello underscore alv your object of cl underscore salv underscore table class is hello underscore alv now we will call the method and what is the method filter get underscore filters i will go for okay same to same it will return the object of some different class 
Suppose I will write hello underscore filters. We will see now what is the name of the class. I will double click on the method. This is type ref to this particular class. And you all know type ref to means it is a, always a object. So we are getting the object of this particular class in return. So I will write data hello underscore filters type ref2 sorry type ref2 cl underscore salv underscore filters i will check the syntax up to this level yes it is syntactically correct now we will go for this particular class and check which method we need to use now. and this clearly in front of your eyes add underscore filter previously we used add underscore sort when we covered the sorting functionality now we will go for add underscore filter if i will go to parameters here the knowledge of select option will play a vital role you all know Every select option has four parts. What is first one? Sign. What is second one? Option. What is third one? Low. And what is third, fourth one? High. You all know sign has always, always two values, I or E. I means include, E means exclude. If you want full explanation and if you do not have the knowledge of parts of select option, you can go to a path programming playlist and we have two to three dedicated videos for the parts of select option. What is option? Option is your relational operator. Relational operator means what? Equal to, between, less than, greater than. So these all are your option. Option means relational operator. Low means low value. And high means high value. Low means low value. And high means high value. Suppose if I will show you as of now. If I will run the program. If I will show you what is low and what is high. This is low and this is high. Now. Now we will simply use. Firstly, you need we what is our requirement? We only only want the line item number 20 records. It means we are only only go for low value. We are not going for high value. So, what will be our sign? We want to include 20 line items, whatever the line item number is 20. It means what will be the sign? Sign will be I. Now you are only going for single value 20. So what will be the relational operator? It will be equal to. Now you are only going for one single value. So what is your low value? It will be 20. Suppose the requirement is I want the line item numbers from 20 to 30. Then in that case, sign will be I. You want to include 20 to 30. Then what will be the relational operator? It will be between, between. And what is the low value? 20. And what is the high value? It will be 30. So this is the way how you need to go. As of now, this is our requirement. So we will go for this part. And it is already explained when we have the traditional ALV, whenever we have the CLGUI ALV grid class videos also at that time also, I explained this filtering functionality. Now we will proceed. So we will simply call the method add underscore filter. So I will go to back button. I will copy this class. And we will call the method add underscore filters. I will go to pattern. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Hello underscore filters. 
our class is CLSALV filters. Now we will search the method. Our method is add underscore filter. It is clearly saying you are applying the filter object to the column. Now you want to go for filtering based upon which particular column line item number. So I will go for postmark. What will be the sign? Sign will be I. What will be the option? Option is equal to because we are going for single value. And what is the low? Low we want to go for 20. So we will go for 20. We will not go for any high as of now. We are not returning any object. And I will uncomment that try and catch block. Always make this practice because if some exception triggered, at least you will not get the runtime error. And customer hate runtime errors always. So I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. For the best understanding, I will explain in that debugging mode. I will put a breakpoint. I will run. I will give the input. Suppose we are going for 1 to 100. Previously, we are getting all 10 and 20 line items. Now we are saying only 20 will display. Now we are calling the method get underscore filters through the object allo underscore filters is blank as of now. And you can see the object is created. Once the object is created, can we call the method add underscore filter? Yes, we can call. And we are filtering that data based upon 20 line item number. And we are displaying the ALU. And you can see we have only only 20 line items. Customer can remove the filtering later, but first time customer bought this. Suppose customer now want to go for 10. So customer will simply put the call cursor and customer can remove this particular filter. And you can see we have 10, 20, everything. But for the first time, customer is saying, I bought only the 20 line item number. Then compulsory, we need to achieve this with the help of coding itself. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the filtering as a part of CL underscore SALV underscore table class. We check there is a method get underscore filter, which is returning us the object of CL underscore SALV underscore filters class. We simply, simply call the method add underscore filter. Here the knowledge of select option will play a vital role. Sign option low and high. Sign is always include exclude. Option is your relational operator equal to between less than greater than. Low means low value and high means high value. As of now, we are only going for single value. So we put if your option is equal to and your low value is 20. In the next video, we will cover this between part also. Means we will take a requirement and we will filter based upon the range. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.